the totality of lies and deception being pushed on populations by the power structure can't be fully comprehended. The official denial of the ongoing climate engineering, weather warfare, biological warfare atrocities in our skies is the most massive and dangerous official deception of all. Though there is an illegal federal gag order on all National Weather Service and all National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration employees, occasionally mainstream media weather forecasters have made mention of the U.S. military's toxic heavy metal and chemical dispersions in our skies, though, again, never admitting to the ongoing climate engineering operations. How are you, Craig? I'm well, and the radar is looking a little bit busy tonight, but it's a little deceiving because sometimes, especially here in South Florida, near the waters of South Florida, there are military training exercises and they release this thing, these little reflective uh, materials in the atmosphere that the radar bounces off of. Now, I'm not going to go into a big explanation about what it, what it is and why they release it. It's called chaff, and when we see it on the radar, we know it's harder to find the precipitation, but the radar that we use is able to switch modes so we can distinguish the chap from the rain and and in fact, here is the shower activity right now that's moving to the north. All this stuff to the south is chaff. It's not rain. It's just those uh, military decoys that are released into the atmosphere. Uh, we've got a bit of an unusual situation. Now, this first portion of the radar cycle, fairly bland and typical. But then you see these bands of very distinct cloud cover moving into the region. That is not rain. That is not snow. Believe it or not, military aircraft flying through the region is dropping chaff. Small bits of aluminum, some Sometimes it's made of plastic or uh, even uh, metallicized, uh, metallicized paper products, but it's used as an anti-radar issue and obviously they're up there practicing. Now they won't confirm that, but I was in the Marine Corps for many years and I'll tell you right now, that's what it is. The narrative of the two mainstream meteorologists shown is that we are just seeing, quote, aluminum and chemical chaff on the radar screens, which of course means it's in our skies, over our heads and raining down on us all where it is inhaled and absorbed by each and every one of us along with every living thing. Even if the quote chaff narrative was true, which it is not, should the just chaff explanation make us feel any better about what's going on in the skies above our heads? Here is the reality we face. Our once thriving planet is now being encased in a toxic atmospheric cocoon, a jet aircraft sprayed heavy metal and chemical concoction of climate engineering elements that are completely contaminating, again, every breath we take along with the entire web of life. So if I made a decision or if there was a collective decision to do a geoengineering program and you put, say, uh, the kind of program I think makes more sense to put about a million tons a year in, but let's say, you might end up killing many tens of thousands of people a year as a direct result of that decision. Even at this late hour, very, very few yet grasp the gravity and immediacy of what's unfolding around us all. The reality we've all known is unraveling by the day Industrialized, militarized society was never sustainable. The formerly thriving planet will not recover to what it once was in any time frame that matters. What can we do to make a difference for the better at this very late hour? We can focus our available time, effort, and energy on salvaging what is yet left of Earth's life support systems. We can dedicate our lives to the attempt of salvaging some semblance of a future for our children and what is yet left of the web of life. How can we do this? What should be our logical priority? The most important leap we could make in the right direction is to expose the climate engineering atrocities to the world. Then, with the masses awakened to what has been done to them without their knowledge or consent, with a global army of the awakened, with our military brothers and sisters awakened to what they are doing to themselves, to their own children, to their own citizens, then we can stop the climate engineering weather warfare insanity. Refuse to go silently into the night. Stand up and join this epic battle for the greater good. Make your voice heard while it can make a difference. Share credible data from a credible source. Help to start spot fires of awareness. Help to fuel the individual flames of awakening until they merge into a blaze that cannot be put out by the power structure. Our will can never be taken. Never give up, ever. This is Dane Wigington with geoengineeringwatch.org.